What up, dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome back to the Warframe video. So today we're going to go hard to farm Calervo and just the new stuff in the Seven Crimes of Calervo update in general. We'll be going over how to get the new arcanes as fast as possible, how to get Calervo basically as fast and efficiently as possible, and his new shotgun and stuff like that. If you enjoy these types of videos, make sure you're subbed to the channel. We do daily Warframe video uploads. Also, we'll be live on the live stream channel later tonight farming out these new arcanes. If you want to come farm these new arcanes, you already need to access the steel path and some good gear and all that too. But yeah, I'll have an open squad and all that. Uh, yeah, Calervo is out, and if you want to farm him, it's going to require some Dabiri farming. We're trying to make that as painless as possible, but it will be very painful for Calervo because, yeah, that's the boss fight you're going to be farming for. The Calervo parts is actually Calervo himself. So, to do the farm I'm going to be showing you today, I'm going to recommend that you have a couple things already unlocked. One of the things I really want you to have unlocked for this farm is the level 3 combat intrinsic for the drifter. So, you're going to have to grind a couple, couple drifter uh, intrinsics. The ability you're looking for is called Transference Surge. This is the ability that lets you turn into your Warframe in the Daviri open world. So, you press the 5 button when your transference bar is full, and you can summon your Warframe for, like, I think, like 5 seconds. If you really want to be super prepared and carry your team, go to rank 8 in the combat intrinsic to get transfer and synergy, increasing the, the duration of your Warframe summon ability by 50%. This will allow you to take care of multiple DPS phases of Calervo with one character solo. Okay? The rest of this stuff, probably should get it too. Like teleporting around with your Kaith is pretty important. But uh, yeah, the main thing you want here is a level 3 combat intrinsic. And what will you be getting from Calervo? We're going to go over all this farming stuff. I'm just going to give you the context of what you're farming for here. You're, you're killing the new Calervo boss fight to get Calervo's Bane resource to buy the Calervo frame blueprints, to buy his new shotgun uh, parts, and then after that you just have can turn in for 100,000 credits. This doesn't feel like an event at all, um, because it's not really. There's, this this uh, Calervo mission is actually just a reskin of something that's already in the game uh, with a forced-in bounty step. So basically what I'm talking about is this Calervo's Hold uh, mission right here. This Calervo's Hold mission is just a reskinned Lone Story. What Lone Story is, is it's, it's there's no like side objectives at all. It's only the bounty steps to get to the end. So that's what this, th you could just take this Teshin icon, put Calervo's face there, and put it over here. Well, all they did is they put a guaranteed Calervo spawn in this. Normally Calervo is RNG. He can appear during certain cycles. Uh, he can appear during the... Uh, I think it's the... Which which cycles is it? He is during the Anger, Fear, and Sorrow cycles on on uh, Daviri. So he would spawn right now in Daviri Experience. And that's what I'm going to recommend to you. I'm going to recommend that you guys do Daviri Experience. And if you want the new Arcanes, do it on Steel Path. Now what you should be looking for when you start these farms is you should be looking at your frames. Now we can check what frames you have in space in your uh, for, for your cave and all that. So things you're looking for here, you're looking for things that can take care of Steel Path really easily. Now I know that's not going to be for everybody, but I'd like to remind you that these new arcanes only drop on the Steel Path version of these portals. So keep that in mind. So looking at my, my weapons right now, you're going to want things that are good. Well, basically, number one frame for this is Mesa. Mesa can gun everything down and gun down things very fast. I'll quickly show you how fast the Clervo fight is with Mesa. So this is what you can expect if you are playing Mesa for this. So go to the Calervo's Hold uh, Island, and then you're just going to talk to the Warden guy at the top of the pit, and he's like, are you sure you want to do this? And you're like, yeah, I guess I have to do this because I want these Calervo parts, and uh, accept it, and it will just spawn you into the, the dungeon. So this is where, use your, so have your, have your transfer and stack ability ready right now. Push the button, turn to Mesa, or whatever frame you have, Calervo is dead. Second phase, I'm still, I'm still Mesa, I'm still Mesa here. So he, he summons in, teleports in, dead. There's supposed to be mechanics of this fight. And now the third phase is free. That was that was all me, by the way. This is a four-player squad. That was with one Mesa. So if you have your other teammates, keep their transference uh, transformation ready as well. You can just use weapons. Because, I mean, I'm using Mesa right now. You can also use your weapons. Let's say I have, like, the Opticore or whatever. A fully modded out uh, frame weapon is going to destroy this guy instantly. So that's what you want to do. That drops seven uh, Steel Path or rather, seven Calervo's Bane, and that's because we're on the steel path. On the normal path, you can actually get as little as four. Uh, so, yeah, things you're looking for here. You're looking for frames and weapons that can one-shot or destroy Calervo very quickly. So looking at what I have right here, 
Um, I don't have the best choices, to be honest. I have, like, I guess the Sinoid Gamma Core would probably be one of my best options, the Comorex. Uh, but if he's teleporting around, it might be kind of hard to hit him. So we would probably not go for these weapons to DPS Kalervo with. I'd have to, like, just use uh, frame ability. So I'd probably go with my choices are Banshee, Garuda, Caliban, Wisp, Mag. I'm sure Mag, Garuda, and even even Banshee Silence would stun him. So you have lots of choices. Just bring your your best frames with the abilities you know are good. And go on Daviri Experience. The reason we're not going Lone Story is because um, sometimes when you're on when you're when we talk about these these decree portals uh, here, I want to talk about you might actually want more decrees than you're thinking that you originally do want. So let's uh, let's quickly show some of this uh, this stuff we're talking about here. So the Steel Path portals are going to require you to have seven decrees, and they're going to be a juiced up version of Undercroft. Uh, with a uh, lot of X's. It becomes an Eximus Stronghold, actually. So after we've killed the Aura Worm here, you technically don't need to kill the Aura Worm. If you want to go to these portals, um, I'm actually just going to go show you on the open world right now. Um, so basically, get seven decrees, and then there will be these three portals on the map that open. They will have a, a picture of uh, Dominus Thrax's face, and they will not open until you get your seven decrees. So keep that in mind. So if you wanted to speed run these decree farming, what I'd say is do Steel Path Daviri Experience, have your team of four split up. Everybody go fish. Yes, fishing is like one of the easiest ways to get decrees right off the bat. So everyone go fish. And by the way, this is this is the decree portal I'm in right now. So this is an Eximus stronghold. You're going to see a lot of Eximus. If you're doing the solo, be ready to kill lots of Eximus. A lot. I'm, I'm not exaggerating, dude. You're killing a lot of Eximus here. And there's Steel Path, too. Um... So go to this, this portal that should be marked in your map. There will be three of them open. And there is currently a glitch. A good glitch, though, in my opinion. So whatever arcane you end up getting in your first portal, it will be the same in the other two portals after that. So, for example, in this run, we got the new arcane primary blight. By the way, uh, defense mentions are three waves now. We got the new arcane primary blight. And then after we beat this portal, we did two more portals. And we got three primar uh, primary blights total, okay? So what you're looking for, guys, just to put this just to put this all in perspective, you're looking for things that are good for destroying Kalervo, so Mesa, strong weapons, just good abilities that can, like, basically stun normal enemies. He doesn't have Overguard. He has no armor either, so don't worry about armor strip. You're looking for, uh, if you're doing the Aura Worm fight, which I'd recommend because, you know, you're going to need those Pathos Clamps eventually. Uh, you're going to want weapons that can take care of the Aura Worm, so high damage crit weapons like Vectus Prime, Boltor, etc., etc., uh, Bolter Prime and Karnon. Actually, we got Shock and Vendetta this run. But yeah, we got three Shock and Vendettas this run. You're also looking for frames that can take care of lots of high-level Eximus. There's the portal right there. Lots of high-level Eximus. Um, so preferably do this with a team. For, so for example, some of the best runs we had, uh, we had two Mesas, a Frost, and a Garuda. That was a really good run. We also had runs... You, usually when you have a run with a Mesa, it's considered a good run because Mesa can burst through Overguard very fast. Um, Mesa can also, uh, you know, kill, kill Kalervo really fast. Mesa's not very good for the Aura Worm. The best frame of the Aura Worm is actually Titania, because her Razor Wing Pistols are very good for just DPSing the Worm, and she can also kill the Wormlings really fast, too. If you've never done a Steel Path Aura Worm before, it does have a few more mechanics that you might not be used to. Um, and if, if, by the way, if you are doing these portals on Normal Path, they only drop Normal Eidolon Arcane, so keep that in mind. Uh, let's let's show a quick uh, Steel Path Aura Worm if you've not seen this before. I can actually locate it here. Okay, right before the the uh, arena, so stage six of six. Now, Kalervo can appear. Kalervo can appear as a normal bounty step. I would say do not do the Kalervo's hold uh, event thing at all. It is five Pathos clamps to just have a guaranteed Kalervo spawn, and you get ten Pathos clamps at the end. The Steel Path Kalervo's Hold mission also does not respect Steel Path uh, loot uh, amounts. It's supposed to give you, I believe, like, seven to nine uh, of the Kalervo's stuff, and it's only giving you, like, four at times. So it's not worth it. Just don't do Kalervo's Hold. I don't know why we can't have fun events anymore. Um, and by the way, this is the Steel Path Aura Worm. So the way this works is you jump on the side of it, and you start rotating these rings with the Interact button. Uh, every ring is like is uh, you know showcase shown by the rings on the actual aura worm. Right behind each ring is the node you will spin to get the node in the correct uh, correlation. Once all the rings are in the correct uh, like rotation, go to the front of the aura worm and then mind control it by pushing the interact key. Once you've mind controlled it, 
just do the normal path Aura Worm stuff and breathe the fire on the uh, the Mind Control Beacons. Then the second phase is going to be uh, pretty similar. There's one extra uh, phase here where you're going to be getting on your, your horse and fighting the Wormlings. And if you glitch it out, you can just go out there and shoot them with Mesa's Pistols. Yeah, I was trying to do this on purpose, but I would not recommend this. There's fire procs out here. Um, but yeah, you can use Mesa's Pistols to kill the Wormlings if you don't die first. If you do those two DPS phases, that's pretty much it. It's a normal Aura Worm fight besides that. So yeah, you do not need to do the Aura Worm to open the portals. I was mistaken on that at first. As long as you get seven decrees, you can go farm Arcanes. And what you can actually do is you can get those seven decrees, go into the portal, get the Arcanes, and then not even kill the Aura Worm if you really don't care about Pathos Clamps, because um, it will save you some time, technically. Find that Aura Worm takes like a good like 10 minutes, I'd say. Um, and then also... You're going to just get those Arcanes. Decrees uh, save how much loot you have. So finish off those portals, get the Decree open, and then you'll have those Arcanes, abort the mission, and just go do it again. Give seven Decrees, steal path, do portal, blah, blah, blah. So that's the way you could do it as well. I'll probably be doing that on stream tonight too. Uh, but yeah, if you want Pathos Clamps, definitely kill that worm. All right, guys, I will see you next time. I'm going to show a, a real quick Mesa build, um, just, just in case, because uh, I haven't shown a Mesa build in a while. Uh, but my Mesa build is usually just... Uh, it's dispensary, so I can always have energy, always have health. There is a decaying dragon key, and uh, you know shield getting and stuff like that does not work as well in the Undercroft and in the uh, bounty environment. So just keep that in mind. I'd really recommend having teammates here to take some of the fire off your back. Uh, we got a, we got a Protea and a and a uh, Garuda here. They're gonna be helping me stay alive. And because uh, a Mesa, I mean, I'm not even using her three to be honest. So I can get shot at pretty easily here. Um, that's why having teammates like, you know, kill the enemies for you, help you kill the enemies, is, is, it's just so helpful. So, I did this solo, it was rough. It was actually pretty rough doing this solo, um, even with, like, a pretty good frame. There are so many Eximus. And, of course, not, not like everyone's gonna have a problem with that, but, yeah. So, for as far as Mesa, something to keep in mind when you're making your build on Mesa, and when you're going into the Undercroft, is that the weapon that it actually, the, the build it will put on your Peacemakers is not gonna be... Um, the one that you're always wanting, maybe. So, for example, whenever you're on a config, so we've got the uh, Mesa build right here. So I'm on a config Mesa build, and this is the build I usually use on Mesa. Uh, with actually, this is not. This is actually a build I was working. On. This is a new circuit build I was gonna be working on. The one I was using in the footage. Yeah, the Mesa build I was, I'm actually working on. This is the one I'm using right now. Ballistic bullseye for shield gating. Mesa's waltz to move around and uh, keep damage bonuses with decrees. Uh, this is meant for the normal path, Equilibrium. So I would not use this, actually. I'm actually be making a new build, probably with Zata's Whisper to burst down Overguard. So maybe keep an eye out on that in the future. Either way, guys, I appreciate all the support, and I'll, take you, uh, I'll see you next time. Uh, Kalervo's shotgun is pretty okay, and Kalervo himself is interesting. I'll have a video on him tomorrow, okay? Appreciate it, guys. See you next time. Peace!